The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Victoria, Texas, weighing in at 252 pounds, the WWE Champion, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Man, the passion this crowd has for this superstar is truly amazing. Just listen to him. You know, Michael, I once won the Hardcore Championship here in Pittsburgh. But then again, as a 17-time Hardcore Champion, there are many cities I didn't win the title in. What? Hardcore Championship? That's defunct. It was awesome. From Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing in at 234 pounds, the WWE Champion, Brett Hitman Hart. You know, sometimes a superstar just has that look in his eye, and this is one of those times. I've heard some impressive crowd responses over the years, but the response this guy gets, well, it's incredible. It's deafening most of the time. And here we go in this no-holds-barred, one-fall-to-a-finish match. Now momentum is in the corner of Steve Austin. The Hitman's got him. Oh, out of nowhere. Uh-oh. Just making his presence felt there. Reversing it. Incredible. Talk to us about Bret Hart. A good opportunity for the champ to try out some new things here. What's the worst that can happen? A loss? Who cares? It's not like the title's on the line. Oh, wait. Nice reversal. Steve Austin doing a great job of turning that around. When I see him attack the arm, it reminds me of how WWE Hall of Famer Arn Anderson would incapacitate an opponent's arm. Yeah, they actually should have called him Arm Anderson. Cole, if you ask me, Bret Hart's sharpshooter is right up there with Ric Flair's figure four, or even Stone Cold's stunner, and all the other iconic finishers from over the years. Oh, out of nowhere! You have to possess a different type of focus to punish an opponent like this. Yeah, you really have to enjoy hurting someone. And he fails to connect with anything that time. Man, that was some miss, all right. I can feel the breeze all the way over here. Oh, my gosh! The longer this match goes, the more moves like that will add up. Camel Clutch locked in. Wrenching on the neck and lower back. He did it. What a huge win. And here's just some of the action we saw during the match. Here's your winner, representing the Hart Foundation. And there's the bell. Oh, Michael, this is going to be fun to watch. What a beast Steve Austin has been so far in this match. Look out! 
there's not a lot of cushion for your face. As you can see, everything hurts. No kidding, it's hurting me. Tell the WWE Universe your thoughts on Steve Austin. Definitely looking confident in this one-on-one environment. That's a good sign. Man, he's still down after that move. I almost wonder if his bell got seriously wrong there. Oh, wow. Oh, once you get out of the ring, anything can happen. You've got exposed steel, concrete, the barricades, and all of it can be used to cause massive damage. I think I can safely speak for my broadcast colleagues when I say it's a real treat anytime you get to witness somebody with the credentials of Bret Hart compete in the ring. Yeah, it's not safe to speak for me, but there's something I agree with, Michael. Bret Hart has one of the greatest resumes in... The shoulders... And a kick out. And that's all that matters. This match continues. Austin doesn't get tired. He gets mad. I'd say that's more embarrassing than anything else. Watch out here. Look out, look out. Offense like this is exactly how a competitor takes control of a match. It's the way I always used to do it. I'm not sure I can watch this. Steve Austin doing a great job of turning that around. And there's the sleeper. This could be lights out. As John mentioned earlier, Bret Hart is known for his WWE and WCW championship runs. And of course, you also have to include his reign as Intercontinental, United States, World, and WCW Tag Team Champion. What force. I thought the canvas would break. That slam was powered by superhuman strength. Unbelievable. Hey, what a move. Oh, once you get out of the ring, anything can happen. You've got exposed Steve into the sleeper hole, cutting off the flow of blood to the brain. It essentially knocks you out, but you can call it sleeping. God, there was nothing accurate about that attempt at offense. Oh, you're being too kind. Some people would use other words to describe what we just witnessed. You know, Michael, listening to you run down Bret Hart's list of accomplishments earlier is literally awe-inspiring. It's no wonder the Hitman is in the WWE Hall of Fame. And now he goes for it a second time. I'm not sure I can watch this. Austin spots the opening. Shifting focus to that arm. Oh, out here you have to be able to think on your feet lightning fast. One mistake, one moment of hesitation, and you could find yourself in a world of hurt. There's going to be a lot of offense in this match. Wouldn't have it any other way. That's what I love to see. When this guy's on, look out. I'm not sure I can watch this. Well, I've been in the ring many times with Bret Hart, guys. And I can tell incredible counter. We're looking at complete domination here. You can practically feel the wear and tear that's been done throughout this match. Oh, and did you hear the impact? Did you see that? Did you hear that? It seems that someone is very comfortable using a weapon against an opponent. Bret Hart cannot hide the blood. He's taken a beating. There's another huge shot. What an attack. Good Lord, he's just hell-bent on naming his opponent. King, you're absolutely right. Bret Hart has an undeniable sense of pride, and a lot of that pride and hard work is why he's widely regarded as one of the best pure technical wrestlers of all time. The bottom line is what? That can't be enough. And he escapes with a kick out. And this is where Austin is the most dangerous when his back is up against the wall. Inside the ring now. Finally. Let's get this done inside the ring. Boy, he just got laid out. Again, these superstars are bound to absolutely no rules here in this disqualification match. You know what, Cole? It's like the Wild West all over again.
We're in the Steel City tonight, and you can bet this crowd is fired up for this match. And he lets him out. Well, he might have been losing some of his grip there anyway. He probably figured it would be better to release the hole now before his opponent could counter it. He's having a seriously hard time getting back to his feet after that. There's no recovery from that. Ow! Ooh. Bret Hart's holding his ground right now. I know the Hitman is famous for his superb cardiovascular conditioning, but you can't prepare for this kind of brutality. If you're pulling for Bret Hart here, you just have to hope the Hitman's stamina can last. We're looking at complete domination here. Not a lot of spring left in his step right now. What a shot. You can hear that from a mile away. You'll see what someone's really made of after an assault like that. Yep, that's the reversal by Bret Hart. That landed perfectly. Oh, once you get out of the ring, anything can happen. You've got exposed steel, concrete, the barricades, and all of it can be used to cause massive damage. And Bret Hart makes him pay for all that. I don't know how much longer he's going to be able to go. Covers. One, two, two. three. There's your winner, ladies and gentlemen. We got a couple of highlights here. Oh, there were some un I can't believe oh, I don't know how you can pick out highlights. Here's your winner, representing the Hart Foundation, Brett Hitman Hart. And there's your winner here in this singles match. That's a big win right there. Anytime you pin another WWE competitor's shoulder to the mat for the three count, you should be proud. It'll be interesting to see the fallout following this big singles win here tonight.